Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to install fonts using GIMP. This is going to be GIMP version 2.10.14 which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course, before I get into that, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here, my GIMP book of layers, and GIMP and Inkscape help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my best-selling GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. Your premium membership includes access to my GIMP Help Center app, my GIMP book of layers, and exclusive premium content not found on the YouTube channel. You could start your premium subscription with a seven day free trial, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So this tutorial is going to be a GIMP basics tutorial, and I'll be covering something that's a basic feature, but a very important feature, and that is installing third party fonts for GIMP. There are plenty of free websites where you can download fonts, so I don't recommend paying for fonts unless you really need that license on a font for something like a client uh, on a client project. But there are plenty of free resources for fonts, including Font Squirrel 1001 Fonts, or the one I recommend, which is Google Fonts. Google, of course, is going to be a reputable company, and the fonts have a lot of information on the Google Fonts page. So it makes it easy to find the fonts you want to use, test them out, see how many styles are available, and then you can download those fonts to your computer. So I'll start by opening up a new tab, and I'm just going to type in Google Fonts and hit the Enter key. So here is Google Fonts. If you just click on that first link there, it's going to take you to the Google Fonts homepage. And under categories, I'm just going to uncheck serif, which is going to be that little flare they put sometimes at the top of letters. Uh, so I don't want that. I don't want handwriting, which is going to be more like cursive. And I don't want monospace, which is going to be more like that coding font you always see. And I can come up top here, and if I put the caps lock key on, I can type a test sentence. So download GIMP fonts for free. And I just like having things in caps lock, especially when I'm doing titles. So you can see the various fonts here. I can also increase or decrease the size. I could change the color of the font. So there's various options here inside of Google Fonts. And by the way, I do have an entire article on how to download and install fonts from Google Fonts on my website. I'll link that in the description of this video. So scrolling down here, let's say I want to go with this font right here, which is called Rubik. It has 10 styles here available. As you can see, you can change just on this single font, the size of the font. And you can also test out the various styles here. So let's go with bold. There's the bold version. So I can either click right here to just skip right to selecting the font, or I can click on the font name. That's going to take me to all of the characters found inside the font. And if I scroll down, here are the various styles. Here's where it's being used. So there's a lot of information here from Google. That's partially why I like Google Fonts so much. So we'll scroll back up. If I wanted to add the fonts, I can click this little plus icon here. And if I click on this, you'll see we have one font family selected. I'm now going to click this download button here, and that's going to download this font to my computer. So I'll click Save. I'm going to click on this folder and click Show in Folder. So most fonts are going to come with a zip file, so you have to right click and go to Extract All. And by the way, this is for Windows. I will be doing a separate tutorial on how to download and install fonts for Mac computers. But choose the folder where you want to extract this and click Extract. So here are our extracted fonts. The next thing I'll do is with GIMP open, if you don't have GIMP open already, go ahead and open that up. I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and there is an icon down here called Folders. You're going to click to expand that and scroll down until you get to Fonts. And there's three different folders here. I recommend going with the middle folder here. This is the one that has roaming in the name. And you can see there's a green indicator right here, which says that the folder is connected with GIMP. And the easiest way to find the location of this folder is to click this little icon here, and that's going to open up the folder inside of the file manager. So there's our fonts folder. I'm going to double click to enter that folder. And then you can come back here to your Rubik font file. In this case, that's the font I'm using. You're going to click on the top one, shift click on the bottom one, and hit control C. And then come over here to your fonts folder, control V to paste all the fonts in there. So now all your fonts are inside of GIMP, and I'll come back to GIMP. I'm going to exit out of the font folders, 
And I can come over here to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Fonts. That should bring fonts up over here in your Layers, Channels, Paths, Undo area. It might open up down here. But either way, once you're inside the Fonts dialog, just click this little refresh icon. And then you're going to scroll through. And right here you'll see we now have Rubik. And we have all the various styles of Rubik here installed for GIMP. And if I go to File, New, and let's just create a new document real quick. And I'll grab my font tool here, my text tool, click on my composition, and type this font, hit the Enter key, Installed. And let's just grab the Alignment tool. I'm going to go through this real quick. So we'll just align this to the center, both horizontally and vertically. Let's grab that font tool again, Control A to select everything and I can cycle through these fonts which are now available inside of GIMP. So I should mention that this is the best method whenever you have multiple fonts and multiple font styles when you're installing fonts in GIMP. There is another method if you want to install your fonts in GIMP with just a single font. So if I come over here to my Rubik file folder and I just double click on a random file here, you'll see there's also an install button when you're using a Windows computer. You can also click that install button that will install the font on your computer and when you refresh the fonts in GIMP, the new font will now show up in GIMP. So if when you're installing fonts, one of those methods doesn't work, you always have that backup method there and I do recommend the first method whenever you have multiple fonts. The second method will be sufficient whenever you have a single font. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash daviesmediadesign. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. I'll also include links to all of my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.